Vegetarians are absolute scum. Seems a bit harsh to me, but okay, go on. How do we generally determine what an animal's natural diet is? We simply look at what they eat in nature. Vegans and vegetarians don't give a shit about what our natural diet is. There have never been vegans and vegetarians in nature because those are man-made religions. Religion? Oh dear. Nuts on my nuts. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of I'm a Douchebag, featuring him. S3... S3 Ridge... Surge... Redhead man guy, or raw meat is yummy guy, if you saw the last video I made about him. And if you hadn't already guessed, he doesn't seem to be that big a fan of other people's dietary choices. And I'm not exactly sure how what I choose to eat or not eat affects him, but he certainly seems to think it does. Tidy! All humans in nature eat raw meat. Eating meat comes very natural to human beings. And it's entirely possible that without an early diet that included generous amounts of animal proteins, we wouldn't even have become human. Or at least not the modern, intelligent, verbal human beings that we are today. Well, most of us anyway. So if they would care about human health, then they would promote eating raw meat instead of toxic chemicals from Big Pharma. Seems a bit uncalled for, really. I can't see what the size of a farmer has got to do with what we're talking about today. Oof. He may be a little bit chubby, yeah, but that's his business. In exactly the same way as it's my business what I choose to eat. Vegetarians usually eat a plant-based diet with some eggs and dairy. So it's hardly any different than a vegan diet. Well, there's a little bit more to it than that, but essentially, yeah, I suppose that would be the main difference. Why would you not eat your natural diet? Clearly vegetarians were not brainwashed to believe that meat is unhealthy, because the milk and the eggs that they eat are made out of blood, which means that they are still eating animals, but lower forms of it. Blood? Really? Is that because you think when a chicken lays an egg it's the same as menstruation? Well, you're wrong. In one sense, it is a valid analogy. Periods are the expulsion of an unfertilized egg, along with the lining of the womb that would have provided the egg had it been fertilized with nutrition. And as a chicken laying an egg is the expulsion of an unfertilized egg as well, I can see why you think that. Because in another sense, the real sense, Chickens are not mammals, and don't have wombs. So in that sense, a chicken egg is both the egg and the womb. So it's not the same reproductive system at all. And for a chicken to lay an egg doesn't involve the bloody part of menstruation. So it serves a similar purpose, but it's not the same thing at all. Because it's not mammalian menstruation. So yeah, vegetarians technically still eat animal products, but not blood. The reasons for this are almost always purely religious. If you tell somebody that killing animals is wrong, then you will simply show them that you have been indoctrinated, because there are no morals in nature. They were created by religions. <laughs> now I've seen religion blamed for a lot of things, but somebody's dietary choices? No, that's a new one, even on me. This means that your life is based on man-made beliefs. It's the definition of being brainwashed and enslaved. Now correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm sure you will, because you all seem to really enjoy doing that, but aren't all beliefs man-made? Everybody in nature would laugh at you. <laughs> and all that matters is what is natural, because everything man-made will always disappear eventually. Come on, Serge, or S3, R2D2, whatever the hell your name is. Don't make promises you can't keep. Because technically speaking, aren't we all man-made? Well, man and woman-made, if you know what I'm saying. So if we're lucky, using your very own logic, maybe you'll disappear too? Eating naturally is about being healthy and happy. Well, yeah, but there's a bit more to being healthy and happy than just what you eat. And while we're on the subject of what you eat, let's look at your own diet of raw meat only. If that's even true. Now raw meat can contain harmful bacteria like Salmonella, Listeria, E. coli, which all cause food poisoning. And interestingly enough, all those bacteria are destroyed if the meat that you're eating has been properly cooked. So if your idea of happiness and being healthy is projectile vomiting and explosive diarrhea, 
then knock yourself out. So traditionally, vegetarians who eat raw eggs and drink raw milk would obviously be better off than vegans, but they would still not get creatine, for example, which is why they are always weaker and have the same mental issues as vegans because creatine is very important for the brain. This alone shows you that vegetarians do not care about humans. I've got to be honest, I don't really know how to respond to that because whilst I'm fully aware that being a vegan or a vegetarian means that you are completely against cruelty to animals, I really don't see how that then translates to you don't care about humans, being as vegan and vegetarian are humans themselves. And again, I could go on to argue that you don't care about humans because you are promoting a raw meat diet, which is, well, it's bloody dangerous and can make you violently ill. If you would support human health, then you would automatically promote the most nutritious foods, which are blood and the organs of animals. But you might get scurvy, like a pirate. Arr. Cooked meat contains very little vitamin C. And without that vitamin, scurvy would bring on rashes and gum disease. Not to mention very bad breath. Woo! And meat lacks fibre, so you'd probably end up constipated. Perfect. So a meat-only diet makes you constipated, and a raw meat-only diet gives you the earth a kit. Vegetarians also don't get enough vitamin F, because they don't eat the brains of the animals or fish. All humans will always crave meat because we are carnivores. Easy mistake to make because I made that mistake myself in a previous video, but humans are actually omnivores. And the best evidence for that is our teeth. We have canine teeth and incisors for tearing and ripping at meat, and molars for chewing, like herbivores. And all animals with such diverse teeth are classified as omnivores, making us omnivores. This religion is all about being obedient and listening to the government. Ugh. Am I ever going to make a video where the person I'm making the video about doesn't blame the government for what they believe? If you as a vegetarian eat what another human told you to eat, instead of listening to your body, then you are mentally ill. Now far be it from me to point out the obvious, but isn't your entire YouTube channel based around telling people that they should only be eating raw meat. They also usually get into spirituality, which is another sign of mental illness. Now I can't help but notice that you keep claiming that when people don't make the same dietary choices as you to eat only raw meat, that they're mentally ill. So just for fun, let me ask you to look into my metaphorical mirror. So you, Serge, only eat raw meat, and you like to tell everybody that doesn't that they are wrong and you are right. So that's your way of thinking. Almost all your videos are filmed by yourself in the woods. Rather odd behaviour, if you don't mind me saying so. And based on your dress, which is generally a vest and a headband, I think we can all safely assume that you're very confused. About what looks good, I mean. And seeing as the definition of mental illness is a condition which causes a disorder in a person's behaviour or thinking, I would suggest that before you continue to point the finger at other people, you take a look a little closer to home. Then you've got the idiot liquidarians, who deep down realise that we are not supposed to shit and fart all day long, but of course they make the mistake of drinking plant juices instead of blood. You could actually be liquidarian if you wouldn't be so Oof. stupid. Now I've got to be honest, you've completely stumped me there. Liquidarianism, which I hadn't heard of until he just said it, so I've had to look it up, is a diet that completely eliminates all solid foods and replaces them with liquidized foods like creams, um, mousses, and mushrooms. I didn't even know liquid mushrooms were a thing. I'm only reading the information I found online. And of course, juices and water. Jesus, I bet a liquidarian could shit through the eye of a needle from 200 yards. But again, if that's your choice and it's what makes you happy and you remain healthy, then cool. <laughs> if you would turn on your head for once in your life and think about why the government made blood illegal in most places, then you would maybe start realizing what's going on. Wait, what? Blood is illegal, and there he goes again, the government. What the hell have the government got to do with any of this? Three hours later. <sighs> I'm never doing that again. 
I have absolutely no idea what he means when he says that the governments have made blood illegal in most places. But after opening many, many tabs on Google and typing in where is blood illegal many, many, many times, the only thing I could really come up with is that in the United States of America, black pudding is illegal. I hate the internet. And I also hate black pudding. <laughs> Derek, who has been eating raw meat for nine years, hasn't had a fart in nine years. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I do beg your pardon. I better not let Mrs. Blinder see this video because if she thinks there's a way to actually stop somebody from farting, she's going to have me on this diet quicker than you can say, what's that smell? Think about that. Oh, I am. And I can feel my stomach getting bloated just by thinking about it. However, luckily for me, it isn't actually possible to never fart. Let's say, for example, you're in polite company and you need to float an air biscuit. And because you're a gentleman or a lady, you hold it in and you think, hang on a second, it's disappeared. Well, no, no, it hasn't disappeared. Some of that gas, some of that flatulence has leaked back into your bloodstream. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking. When did Creaky's channel suddenly become so educational? Well, I know I even surprise myself sometimes. But while we're talking about this extremely interesting topic, I will share my own personal reasons for refusing to hold in a fart. It's because that gas that's leaked back into your bloodstream comes out when you exhale. Ew. There's also many studies that show that men who don't eat meat have lower testosterone, and of course this religion is afraid of hormones. Now that statement is a bit like this part of my beard. It's a bit of a grey area, but I have done my own research. And um, by research, I mean I typed it into Google. I mean, what else are you meant to do? We're in a lockdown. And it would seem that the answer you get depends on where you find that answer. Now, if you find it on a website that promotes vegetarianism or veganism, then they say that's just not true. And that vegan and vegetarian men are far more manly. But if you find it on a website that isn't promoting veganism or vegetarian, then sadly, Yes, that does seem to be the case. That vegetarians have a lower sperm count, which means that they are prone to infertility. <laughs> sperm. Now, as much as I hate to admit it, it would seem in this case that he's half right. And I suppose being half right is better than being completely wrong. Because there's been a study done by the American Society for Reproductive Medicine. And even though they did find that in vegetarian and vegan men, their sperm count was lower, it certainly wasn't low enough for them to be considered infertile. And the people that carried out the study themselves admitted that the results were inconclusive. And the researchers postulated that estrogenic compounds, as well as some other chemicals caused by the vegetarian or vegan diet, could, could be a cause for the poor sperm parameters. I've said sperm way more many times than I'm comfortable with in a video. Moving on. We already understand that vegans hate animals, nature, and that they want us all castrated and infertile. Hang on a second, vegans hate animals and nature? I don't think that's right. But what do I know? I haven't even got a red headband. And as far as wanting us... Castrated? Well, maybe. Because a lot of vegan extremists do seem to have some very strange views on what's right and what's wrong. But because of this, if you promote vegetarianism, then you are also anti-human. The bottom line is that there's absolutely no reason not to eat meat. Raising pastured animals is best for the environment and our health. Any little piece of meat is more nutritious than any plant food. And most importantly, it's natural to eat meat. And that's essentially all that matters. Now it seems to me that no matter what you believe to be right or wrong, when it comes to what you choose to eat, we'll always have people like S3 Ridge, uh, Redhead, whatever the hell his name is. We'll always have people like him attached to that belief. And when I say people like him, I mean extremists. Now, I'm not a fan of any extremist point of view. And in today's video, we've got Redhead Band Guy, who's an extremist that promote the. P p p p <laughs> Remix. And today, we're looking at a guy who promotes a raw meat diet and he's quite extreme in the way he puts his point across so I'm gonna class him as an extremist because I can and as a direct opposite we've got people like that vegan teacher who is a vegan extremist 
but they all just need to do the same thing. Let people make their own dietary choices and shut the fuck <laughs> If it's your first time here, don't forget to smash the like button or gently tweak it. You know, whatever floats your boat. I'm the Creaky Blinder, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. All right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the Creaky Blinder.